Hey, I'm going to teach you how to select the photos as fast as possible where you instinctively select them. And I just came this week, I had three jobs in one day and then I had another job every day. And one of them was this festival, which was like all day. So I took almost 3000 photos you can see here and I had to select them and like all those photos, which is almost 10,000 photos I made. So I had to be really quick and deliver the photos really quick. The festival wants the photos really fast uh, usually or they want a selection to post on social media and stuff to say thank you to all the visitors and a lot of clients are like that business clients especially it's a really important skill and it will save you a lot a lot a lot of time so this week i was just like every time i went after work i was just selecting a bit took me a little bit of time and then i was quite shocked but today i did intimate fasting which means basically that you don't eat in the morning you try not to eat for a long time it's a different subject but i was very focused and concentrated and I was shocked I didn't eat for like 24 hours almost and I was shocked that I could finish editing all the photos and deliver everything I edited 900 in one day and I selected a lot of the photos so it was crazy in half of day even all right let's go so first of all I import the photos I use a hard drive one terabyte of Samsung the small ones they're very fast this is the SSD quite expensive but they're really really good otherwise I would recommend putting it on a laptop itself or if you don't have a choice, which is also okay, a bigger hard drive, try to use like the fastest connection, obviously. That's the first thing. Second thing, Lightroom has two modes. It has develop, which is much slower because here you can edit all the photos and this one, which goes much more faster, but it still isn't the fastest way because sometimes it still takes time to load the photos. So what I do, Adobe has another program which is called Bridge. It took me actually a lot of time to discover it and I wasted a lot of time in Lightroom before. But what you basically do is you find where the photos are. So if you import it in Light with Lightroom, it's like this. It's not the album I want to edit. This is the one. And then click space and then you go to all the photos and I click normally two for the photos I want to use. One is the photos I don't want to use, but like zero is the photos that I'm not going to do anything with. One is like, maybe I might look at it again, but it's still not going to make it to the client. And three, so two is what is going to make it to the client and three, like my favorites, top favorites, if I want to find them again easily. And then four or five, same. So four is even better, five is even better. So you see how fast it goes here and it's like on full screen screen. I don't think Lightroom can do it this fast on full screen, to be honest. If we click F, then, well, it's a bit more delayed. And I actually already loaded those photos, so it, it it's a bit faster now in Lightroom. But this program is just the best that I've come across. Uh, and it's free when you have Creative Cloud. So what I do, there is this answer that actually no one wants to hear. The more you practice, the more you edit, the faster and the more instinctively and the more subconscious it comes to your mind. But also what I noticed that I do subconsciously because I edited, I'm, I'm doing it already seven years. I am basically selecting with emotion. When I take the photos, I take like a lot of photos. You can see a lot of photos of the same one, two, three, four, five, five photos of the same moment, six. You see, one, two, three, four, five. So I have always like one moment that I need to take, that I can take. So this is the best photo, I would say. This is not sharp. So what I select is with emotion. I always recognize the face first, and then I see if they have an emotion, I take it, I choose the photo. Also, your what you find cool will change a lot with the time. So at the beginning, the first events I did it was just like very normal photos. I was trying to copy other photographers. But now what's cool for me is to see an emotion. I try to think for the client. What does a client want? So this is a festival. The client is a festival. And everyone and also the client wants to see how happy and good and emotional and positive emotions the word festival. So I'm trying to see to find those emotional happy emotions. This is just a funny photo. I selected this one. It's like, oh, really? What are you saying? Because he's like starting with her maybe and she's not trusting him. So it's funny. I'll select this photo here. I won't select anything. And then like I have a lot of photos of the same thing. I select this one because it's sharp and she's like in her own thing, doing her own thing. She's in the mood, you know. Let's go to a bit more interesting photos. Maybe this one. 
where she has the most emotion. Or this one, which is two, or this one. That's a this one. And then this one, I'm just doing one, because I don't want it. And then here, oh, it's also best that you're like, they never look at the camera. When I walk on those festivals, I tell them I'm here to capture a vibe. Don't pose. I don't photograph posed photos. My clients don't want that. So you're not going to find them back. Sometimes they say yes when I see they're like very annoying, but when I say yes, then other people come and want the same photos. But I tell them usually just dance, create a vibe, and I'll, I'll make sure you're on the photo. And sometimes they do it directly. But I think this is the best photo. She does look at the camera, or this one. I, I'll choose both. This one as well. This one is also cute. A lot of emotion. Here, you can see a lot of emotions, like she's feeling it. Or this one. Here she's looking at the camera, so it's not good. But you see how fast I can go with this program? It's amazing. And I mean, obviously you see all the good photos on Instagram, but you see how much bad photos I take. How much not sharp ones. This is not sharp. And just any of those, maybe this, no, this one, this one. So this is how I choose the photos. And then when I finish this one, it's an amazing photo. Let's just go really fast here. So here I have a lot of options. Took a lot of photos of her. So it's not, this is the best. She does look like a, at the camera, but maybe not. And she's like super moody. This is like a golden photo. It's like so spontaneous, not there. I'm just seeing it, just someone saw it. Here, they, the, those girls actually, they asked for a photo and I told them I make only photos of the vibe so you can go crazy and I'll make photos of you. And they went crazy and they, I told them don't look at the camera. So they didn't, just here, but then I got this photo, which is a great photo, I think. Yeah, beautiful photo. You can zoom on her face, great as well. Here there's most emotion. And you can see the emotion here. This is very important. Mouth and here, here near her eyes, you can see emotion. Someone's laughs. You can even see it from the side, like this. And it's really good. So I chose this photo. This photo is beautiful, even if she's looking at me. That's okay. You can see I took one group photo, but they were a bit of vibe. They were a bit black. It's a cool photo still. I still like it. So you just go really fast and you, and you feel which photo do I feel. This is how I do it. This photo, this photo I feel. So try to follow your feeling and the more you do it, the more you, you get it. But if you wouldn't know that you need to trust your feeling, then it would have taken you much more time, I think. I wish I knew it before feeling photos okay well now that you got that um then once you selected all the photos so for example because i already did all this but i'll just go to the second photo and i'll choose one choose one yeah okay oh, it doesn't work i don't know why but normally it works and then i can just go to the first to the second photo and then you can see this thing here so then I would, when I select all the photos, when I selected all the photos in Bridge, the other program, um, I select all the photos and then I click here and then import settings from disk. Because basically Bridge is making, when you go to here and you show reveal and finder, then it basically creates this thing, which tells us all the settings of the, of what Lightroom wants to do with the photo what Adobe wants to do with a photo. So when you import this to here, when you import the settings from disk, then it basically tells this is how you should edit it. And the edit is also the selection, like the stars of the photo and all those things. So once you do this, I don't do it on all the photos because I already selected them, but now you can see it imports the stars as well. So this is how I do it. Good luck.